Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play World of Tanks with Kasun. Today I'm taking my 8.8 .8 Yak Tiger out and as you can see uh, the battle looks pretty even. I've seen worse so far. XVM was giving me uh, I think 38% chance to win. Um, at first it didn't see like there would be well <laughs> it wouldn't be a good game however it turned out to be I think the most profitable game I have ever had so just leaning back watching for now you see as the Löwe, the M6, the Comet and the T-150 were going up the hill I decided to not go there I was thinking okay I'm going down the river bad which turned out to be not the brightest idea I had in this game. Um, yeah, being spotted, and now I'm thinking, oh, I'm going downhill. He won't be able to hit me, and will be fine. I will be fine, and bam, hit me right there above the MG port. And I'm thinking, ah, okay, this game is not going to be good. <laughs> not going to be good at all. So the 8.8 Yak Tiger, um, very situational tank. Um, I think on city maps it's pretty awesome, or on very very sloped maps with lots of small hills where you can hide your lower glaciers, it's pretty nice. Um, out in the open it's pretty pretty terrible because everyone knows just shoot the lower glaciers and see it catch fire and burn to death. Um, as long as there is no RT on the map you can, can do a low, uh, whole lot of shit you could never do uh, when, when there is actually RT as like sitting around here in the open being um, by bait for artillery Nah, bounced off his gun mantle there, should have taken more time to aim In this moment I'm thinking to myself, okay, go I'm, I'm going to push up or do I go a little further down the waterline and risk getting a side shot. Uh, however, I'm lucky the enemy doesn't push and we got support from up the hill. So, yeah, let's just give it a go. I mean, I already lost about 500 hit points. What else could happen? <laughs> yeah. Poor Centurion still has the basic turret, which is very easy to pan. Deciding against advancing right now, waiting a little longer to see if they come back over. Um, this point I decide okay I'm vulnerable as I push over there because I explode uh, expose my lower plate I don't know with this tank I never have the feeling like I'm actually doing a lot of damage but it's got such a high rate of fire um, that the damage really starts to sum up. Also, the gun is wonderful accurate. Really, it's it's very very nice. Your aim time is nice. Your accuracy is nice. The rate of fire is absolutely awesome. In this regard, it's almost like the 7.1 uh, Centurion with the B-type barrel. Uh, I don't want to expose my lower glaciers. Yeah, that shot goes somewhere. Uh, 
And now I'm curious to see where the T-34 is actually going to shoot me because uh, in the game I had no time to exactly see where his shot went. Now let's see where this shot hit me. Ah, okay, yeah, it hit me right there. Okay. Being very unlucky here. And another shot right there. Ah, well. So I'm down to 22 hit points. And I'm thinking, okay, um, this is not going well. But if I turn too far left to pull back, I expose my side to whoever's shooting me from that hill. Um, so I'm very, very lucky here. Uh, obviously, I could have died any second if someone would change to high explosive. I take the risk, I pull back. Even at this angle, the hill guys could have killed me. One thing you will notice is um, that thing's traverse speed is terrible. I mean, really, if, if someone gets close to you, you have no chance of turning into them. It's not like a French TD where you can just back off and turn and mayhap get shot into their side or something. You're in in the uh, 8.8 Yak Tiger, and I think also in the AA uh, normal Yak Tiger, you're just screwed when it comes to uh, being flanked. No risk, no fun. I see his gun is not pointing my way. I try to track him there, hoping for a high roll, but nope. But my rate of fire is so high, I can kill him. So the Lerve, the M6, they are all having pretty good health. I don't, <laughs> so I stay back for now. Um, I'm pretty sure there's someone up the hill on the right, simply from guessing where they shot me when I came over. And... Three kills. Wanted to track him, however, I take the kill too. <laughs> So at this point I'm at 4 kills and 3.2k damage and I'm thinking, okay, no risk, no fun, let's go for it, and wow, 5 kills. And at this point I'm starting to think, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could get Top Gun? And so I'm telling them, is it possible uh, that I may get the uh, one of those 4s? I'm thinking, yes, 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 I can get Top Gun, I can get Top Gun, it's currently the event. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, very, very tight shot. But the low finishes him. Mm, I'm a little miffed. Uh, thinking to myself, mm, okay, he doesn't care. So the Indian Panzer is way out where I can get him. And at this point, um, I'm thinking, okay, mm, the only the only thing I could still kill is probably the All 44. Is he still over there? Well, let's take a look. And since I know the Löwe doesn't care. Um, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to hold my shot. I'm going to let him shot first, unless, of course, the enemy is at like 200 something health or so. So, I'm waiting. And I give it a shot, and I get Top Gun. Which was very, very nice. Um, I got in this game, I think, um, 
it was 13.39k of experience and after the bonuses it's I think it was 170 uh, silver. I will show you the screenshot of the result screen and thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and vote. Uh, I really could get some, some feedback. Would be nice. Have a nice day. Bye bye.